Hey guys, David from Provide here, and today we're really excited to announce the release of Shuttle version 1.0.0. Now, Shuttle is our interface for creating, curating, and managing Web3 ecosystems, uh, more specifically those that are involved in a baseline process. And today we're going to take a look at the new and improved workflow designer. Uh, in version 1.0.0, of course, there are other improvements, such as a new workgroup onboarding process that allows you to configure everything you need uh, in a workgroup to get started with a baseline process, uh, as well as a couple other updates that really help to improve the usability of Shuttle. Um, but like I said, I want to give you a sneak peek of the new workflow designer, uh, something that is... Um, a really big improvement is the inclusion of the a, a connector schema fetching um, functionality. So what that does is uh, allows you to create domain models based off of the schemas coming from a connected system of record. Um, right now we have this one set up connected with an SAP instance, so we'll show you what that looks like. Uh, we're just going to create a demo workflow here um, just for the sake of uh, making this make sense. I'm going to make this first workflow a purchase order. Uh, so we're just going to go with a typical procure to pay process here. Um, we'll select the general consistency circuit. And then we're going to select the orders 05 domain model. Now in SAP, that is the domain model that has to do with the purchase order. Uh, and that was actually automatically imported uh, from SAP via this schema mapping uh, query that we've built into Shuttle um, that is accessible via a SAP connector. So we'll hit save here. And now whenever uh, that, that particular type of IDOC is updated in SAP, uh, a purchase order in SAP, whenever the, an update on one of those comes through or a create comes through, it will automatically trigger this workflow. Uh, and we can continue on with this and create a sales order. Uh, again, selecting the general consistency circuit uh, and defining a, an order zone one domain model. Again, um, being automatically populated from the schemas available in SAP. And we're going to require finality on this because we're going to make this the, the last work step in the workflow. We're just going to make this a real quick demo. Uh, I'll save this and we can deploy this workflow. And then once it is deployed, uh, it's, it's ready to be used. It's ready for workflow executions. Uh, anytime uh, it, the purchase order process occurs in SAP, it's going to trigger a workflow instance of this workflow. Uh, which will generate a proof and capture uh, the entire process uh, in, in accordance with the baseline protocol standard. So that's just a real quick demo. Again, we are really excited today to announce the release of Shuttle v1.0.0. Uh, if you can, go ahead and check it out. You can get in, create a new account, um, create an organization, and go ahead and start creating your own workflows.